this is a voltage follower circuit uh, this is in the form of uh, non inverting amplifier the gain of non inverting amplifier is 1 plus rf upon r1 here rf and r1 rf is uh, 0 and r1 is infinite and infinite therefore rf upon r1 results to be 0 so a the gain of the circuit is 1 voltage follower is a circuit which gives gain which is equal to 1 let's see what is summing amplifier how our pump is used for to get the sum of all the inputs this is the circuit diagram of uh, summing amplifier there are three inputs and the output will be sum of all the three inputs from the circuit it is given it is very clear that i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal to if now here we will see that uh, this is the equation which we get V is equal to 0 because the virtual ground V is this point which is equal to this point and this point is 0 grounded Actually, V is grounded so we can write this now V out will be this now if we consider R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R3 which is equal to R therefore V out will be minus RF upon R V1 plus V2 plus V3 now suppose RF is also equal to R therefore V out will be minus of V1 plus V2 plus V3 so this is how we get output as the sum of all the inputs the circuit to get the average of the input is like this the resistances here is three times the feedback resistance the output which we get will be minus of v1 plus v2 plus v3 upon 3 this is the circuit diagram of a different differential amplifier the output will be the difference between the two inputs now to find out the output voltage we will apply superposition theorem here keeping v1 in the circuit and there is no v2 here so when v1 is applied here so the circuit will become a inverting amplifier or inverting amplifier ka output hota hai the gain into the input now gain will be minus rf upon r1 into the input so input here is v1 so minus rf upon r1 into v1 is the first output due to v1 in this circuit now we will consider v2 is there in the circuit and there is no v1 if we consider there is no V1 and only V2 is there in the circuit this circuit is non-inverting amplifier ben jata hai. the non-inverting amplifier ka output will be 1 plus RF upon R1 which is the gain of non-inverting amplifier into VB VB is the voltage at this point now what will be VB? VB will be the voltage drop across R2 resistance so as RF is equal to R2 we will replace RF by R2 here and here also it is R2 here also so R1 plus R2 upon R1 into R2 upon R1 plus R2 into V2 now this will become R2 upon R1 into V2 now this is my equation 3 so using equation 1 and equation 2 there are two V out this V out 1 
is uh, when v1 is considered and v2 is not considered this is v out 2 when v2 is considered and v not v1 is not considered now we will find out what is the total output of this circuit the output will be sum of both the in outputs and finally we get this this is the difference between the two inputs the output is proportional to the difference between the two inputs this is the circuit of an integrator uh, integrator using op amp uh, feedback resistance is replaced by a feedback capacitance in this circuit i1 is equal to ic because the current here i2 is going to be zero so this will result to this i1 is equal to v in minus v upon r1 and uh, the capacitor current is given by cd v minus v naught difference between the voltage here upon dt v is going to be zero so the output will be given by this we it is clear that the output will be integration of the input this is the circuit which is used to find out the differentiation of the input ic is equal to if which is given by this the circuit output will give the differentiation of the input